this is Dave Grant here at the Academy Awards, and uh, we're here on the red carpet, as you can see. And today we're gonna we're gonna be interviewing movie stars. Hey, here's Johnny. I think I might be nominated for the bucket list. Okay, so maybe we didn't make it to the red carpet, but this was Oscar weekend, and it was Hollywood. I was pumped because everybody was there. But Goodyear Blimp was there. The Scientologists were there, handing out stress IQ tests. Sean Penn. In a live broadcast viewed in 46 different countries by 67 and a half million people in the United States alone, Best Actor winner Sean Penn had these words to say in his acceptance speech. For those who, um, who saw the signs of hatred uh, as our cars drove in tonight, uh, we're directly in front of the, the Kodak Theater, probably about three blocks away. This is the path where the limousines go. We are the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of Earth today. We're here to deliver this message to everybody that goes by. We're going to hell and, and Barack Obama is the Antichrist. Yeah, that was about the time when my microphone died. So there I was. God had put me at the right place at the right time and encouraged me to do the right thing. With no audio? Well, miraculously, just in time for the meat of the interview, the audio clicked right back in. The only people in this earth today who are keeping the commandment of God to love I Okay, yeah, okay. So I understand. So basically, you're trying to convict people of their sins so that they'll repent. Has anyone ever converted in one of these rallies? What? We are not judging you in the sense of saying to you, you are going to hell because you live like this, you're going to live in hell. You're calling the Barack Obama the Antichrist, and uh, you're saying that you're going to hell. You're calling the Barack Obama the Antichrist, and the Academy Awards are idolatry, and you're going to hell, and that God is my enemy. It feels like judgment. It is. Jesus Christ said, don't give these well, that wasn't out of context. Isn't it true that Jesus said that the way to judge a person who is preaching his gospel is by the fruits? And then we'll follow the spirit of love and patience and kindness. This doesn't seem like Look, bottom line, it's really easy to hate whoever. Hollywood, America, Barack Obama, gay people. As long as God hates them too. The only thing I regret missing in that interview was when she told me that the only thing Heath Ledger was known for was playing a quote unquote fag. I told her that he had been nominated for playing the Joker. I asked her if she had seen the movie. She said that she had. And I said, uh, okay, well, what did you think? She said, it was better than some. Let me, can I talk to your cameras? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, these people, that's, that's anti. Even though we have the First Amendment, the freedom of speech, these people, here's what they do. When an American soldier dies, I don't care how you feel about the war in Iraq, when an American soldier dies, they stand in front of the soldier's house when the mother, father, and wife are grieving, and they applaud. I didn't bother your interview, I bother my interview. That's terrible. You kiss while you're dancing. It's continental. They stand in front of an American soldier's funeral. And I don't care how you feel about the war in Iraq. When an American soldier, man or woman, dies, these people stand in front and applaud. And they go to on the mother and the father and the widow and the young kids. And on behalf of all the mothers and the fathers, one dead Indian was found at our the Republican war machine started a big war for absolutely nothing. You hear them yelling about the 
So President Obama just sent 20,000 troops to Afghanistan. I don't know if these people even know that. Dude, something tells me that they didn't vote for Barack Obama. Thou shalt not kill? Fine. Thou shalt not fly planes at the World Trade Center. Would you mind talking about what's going on? It's just for YouTube. No. Okay. We were in on spring break for our last spring break before we graduate from college, and Oscars are here, so we came down to check things out. We're just wondering what's going on. I mean, we're Christians ourselves, and so... I mean, to see signs like, God hates America, God is the enemy, we're kind of wondering what's going on. But. That's a turnoff. To, as a Christian, I wouldn't say, hey, that's another Christian coming coming to, uh, showing any kind of light at all out here on the streets of, of Hollywood. Finally, a sane voice in all of this mess. Well, I'm sure that Hollywood had something rational to say about it. I know, it's a touchy subject, but someday we all do have to confront the notion that our silly gods cost the world too greatly. You know, I think aside from those kids from Michigan, the only non-crazy person there was a guy in sackcloth. So, just a question about your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I'd go all the way up there and not ask somebody, who are you wearing? So I've used the hat because it says uh, Border Patrol, and I've gone into the city sometimes and preached, and people would ask me Border Patrol, so I tell them I'm, it's the border between heaven and hell. And the sackcloth, of course, uh, everybody gets the message there, we ought to be repenting and mourning about our sins. So that's the combination you're seeing, and then the Hollywood glasses. <laughs> so it's not so much about immigration. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, I'm receiving, a, I, I have kind of a watchman calling where I receive some dreams from the Lord, and God shows me things that are going on within the Christian church that he's upset with. And so, I, you know, I oftentimes find myself, I have as many enemies in the church as I do out on the street. Not talking about the people across the street, but the signs across the street. What, what's your reaction to, to seeing those signs? Okay, well, I have seen some of the signs and I can't say that I'm in disagreement with, uh, with every sign that's over there, but they have a few signs there that, uh, that I have uh, personally have a little bit of a problem with. Uh, I have had some dreams <clears throat> about Obama and uh, the impact his presidency may have on America, which wouldn't be good. But that doesn't mean that I don't desire to see Obama, that, that I don't believe that God doesn't love Obama as much as he's loved me. So I feel it's my obligation to, uh, to speak out and to protest the things that, that Obama, you know, promotes that, that don't promote Christian values. But on the other hand, uh, I don't want to tear the man down because I want to leave an open gate for his opportunity to come to a, a saving knowledge of Christ, which really brings a new foundation for what you do or don't believe or agree in. What about the Heath and Hell one? That was the one that really impacted yeah, me. That, that, actually, that bothers me more than anything because uh, I see Heath Ledger as just a young man. <clears throat> I was a young man like Heath was at one, at one time. My idol at his age was Mick Jagger. Fortunately, uh, God, at that time of my life, I was in some difficult circumstances and survived. Oscar day. Don't know what time it is because my phone's cracked. And we're going to go back to the hotel room and watch the Oscars. I don't think that the statue is an idol. Unless you make it an idol. It, it would be like if it was a Cavi Award, maybe, a golden calf. That would be wicked. Brian, you and me, we're creating the golden calf award. In life, you don't get too many opportunities to tell the people that have impacted you in some way exactly what they mean to you. I try to do that every year with my Academy Awards contest by keeping you up to date on what's going on in my life and uh, just trying to spread a little bit of joy. You're not just a recipient of some kind of crazy chain email. It's my way of saying thank you for sharing my experiences, sharing part of my life. Until next year.